are here with an update. Roy has his test results here <laughs> for his Ancestry DNA. We are very excited. I just got off the road from Indianapolis, and I'm like, okay, first thing we got to do is get these test results. So, for those of you who do not know, um, both of us, Roy and I, my husband and I, we got the Ancestry DNA um, test kits to see our percentages of our heritages and our ethnicities, all that good stuff, because we wanted to kind of know where we're based, where is our home, who are our people. And if you watch the earlier video, you'll see that there were some um, guesses that we took. But just going through quickly, uh, Roy, Roy had a guess that he was 80% African, 10% Indigenous American, and 10% European. I guess that he was 72% African, 18% European, 5% Indigenous American, and 5% other. And you can see why we came up with these numbers in the last video. Yeah. So, without further ado, we have the computer right here. Like, I'm, I'm super excited. Like, this is... Okay, wait, close your eyes, Kermi. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Okay. View genetic ancestry. It's so exciting, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, um, I know I'm not showing it, but yeah, like I've been counting down the days for this. Oh wow! Uh, wow! Whoa! Oh, I almost, I almost teared up. Like, wow. Okay. Oh, so like, here you go. It's your, it's your test result. You want me? Are you still in shock a little bit? You want me to do it? No, no, I'm good. I need to, I need to say it. You know, this is my results. This is, first off, this is amazing. Like, before I even go in, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're both Black American, African American. And so, you know, this is information that, you know, people even a few um, generations ago didn't get to have. But anyway, let's just go down that. So, I'm 84% African. So he was closer to his African heritage numbers than I was. Yeah, and um, I just want to go down. Uh, so it says, um, out of that 84%, I'm 31% Nigeria, which is, you know, something um, I have. That's the biggest percentage. It's something like uh, a few of like, my Nigerian friends do say I look Igbo. So <laughs> now explain some things. All right, 26% um, Benin Togo. Wow. Um, 12% Cameroon, Congo. Wow. And 8% Senegal. Now, he guessed that he was from the Ivory Coast, Congo, and Ghana. I guessed Nigeria, Rwanda, and uh, Ghana. Um, and so we both thought he had, you know, Ghanaian ancestry. Yeah. But according to this, mm -mm. Yeah, I know that's something. I thought, like, I would have at least had some Ghana, but... Um, let's see, Senegal's part of Ivory Coast, isn't it? They're... I believe, I'm not sure. It, um, I guess we gotta go research that yeah, too. Yeah, I know, that, that's more for me to learn. And I'm surprised too, I, I'm, I guess, slightly, I would have thought I had more, I guess, regions in me, but I'm, I'm proud, I'm blessed. Okay, so, um, it says, um, 1% Asia, um, but, or at least 1% Asia says so that that that's interesting um i'm not really sure exactly where that i mean maybe i i, I don't know maybe native ancestry or maybe because i don't my whole family's from nowhere else but georgia so i don't i don't know if anyone from asia would show up but so i something. i guess that he was at least five percent um other and i included um asian heritage within that but he didn't guess anything at all so at least uh so i guess partially right i said five percent but it was like more like one percent now west europe oh yeah west europe or um 14 percent european wow um didn't think i had that much in me actually yeah. um he thought that he was primarily from the united kingdom and I guess the United Kingdom and or Spain. But it is saying that it's primarily located with Belgium, France, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. 
I'm trying to say that right. <laughs> oh, yeah, better than me. Um, but yeah, how do you feel about that? That's a really big surprise. I don't know. Yeah. Again, again, like I didn't, I didn't know like any of these nationalities were in the South like that. Like I, I thought it would have just been nothing but UK, but it looks like there isn't like any well, kind of UK, right? I would say, um, I mean, just just to be mindful of history, people in England weren't the only ones who transported slaves. Slavery didn't even actually start in the United Kingdom; it started somewhere else. Yeah, that's true. I think in I think Belgium or so, something like that. One of those countries that actually was the, the originator of and they started the slave trade, like as we know today, what that is when we when we say that. So um, it's more than just the United Kingdom and you know England, all those folks. Okay, and one percent West Asia. Wait, now I'm like really confused. Like, is that do they mean like um, kind of Middle East or? Oh, no, no, no. I got like a, a little bit, like about 1% Great bit written, but wow. Oh, ah! Caucasus? Ha! I called it. I, it's, I did the other. I said like the Kuwait area. It says, you know, the, the caucus is primarily in Armenia, Georgia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, that area. Mm -hmm. Wow, so now I'm like really confused I, I i don't know where that could have come from at all like the, you know what just one thing um a lot of like europeans who came over or or even africans i guess i don't know but like for whatever whatever happened like they had like a little bit of roma um in them so maybe that's where it's coming from i'm not sure what also do you, think? you know it could be somebody who's directly from that area who may have come over to America or may have been uh, taken from their country, may have been brought over. There's a, a number of reasons why someone um, shows up in your DNA like that. You're right, you're right. You know, but... But, wow. Um, um so it's... Genetic community. So, African Americans in South Carolina, there could be a possible connection. African Americans in the Deep South, there could be possible connections. Wow. So, he, um, my husband is originally from Macon, Georgia, and he has a lot of relatives. Primarily, most of his family is in Macon, Georgia. Um, so, I mean, South Car Carolina, like, you throw a rock. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a far drive it's, at all. It's not, it's not far. Not you know, that means maybe some of your ancestors didn't travel that far, but they traveled, you know, down to Macon. Yeah. Um, so overall, how are you feeling about it? I'm just... Wait, can we go back? I just want to look at the numbers again. It's... I mean, it's it, shocking. I'm, I'm enlightened. Like, again, now... So, for so long, since I was a little kid, I've, like, had these questions about, you know, exactly... Um, you know, my folks' story, and now I got the answer in front of me. That is so, I, it's so cool. I mean, so cool. And I know you're kind of still in shock right now, but listen, we were both off a little. Um, to overview, he, he got it right as far as percentage of African, even he was had a, a conservative estimate because he's 84% and he guessed 80. I guess that there was um, some Asian and maybe perhaps uh, Middle Eastern ancestry. They both had about 1%. We're both wrong as far as European. Um, I said 18%. He said 10. It was 14. And it was primarily in like Germany and what is it, Liechtenstein? Um, Bel like Belgium, those areas. You say it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, overall, I know he's still in shock. It's going to be a while. He's going to have to stare at the screen. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you guys, you know, kind of take this into account, you know, when you're looking for your genetic history, your genetic composition, you know, what the process entails and how it could really open your eyes. Um... My husband had a, a clue that he would possibly be Nigerian, but um, now he knows. I didn't think it would be like this high. Like, yeah, he's wow. he's almost like a, a third of who he is is Nigerian. It's a strong 
strong connection in Nigeria. And then Benin Togo um, is a close second with 26%. So those comprise over 50% of who my husband is. And so we got some uh, research to do on both of those countries. Definitely, definitely. I feel best, personally. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you so much. Hopefully this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I know I kind of took over this video, but I know my husband, he's like really in shock. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so thank you guys again for watching. And we're going to probably be back with my results and follow up. Like, a, uh, you know, overall thoughts on the process. But this is really, like, it's really eye-opening. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Bye.